Hey friends, it's Chris the Earthborn Alchemist and I wanted to share with you just a very brief video on grass. You heard me mention in one of my previous videos the term lawn biodiversity. What does that mean and what does it actually do? So what most of us that own yards actually try and achieve is this blanket uniform green um, beautiful grass. You know when someone says that's really nice grass, that's really nice lawn. That's what we kind of think we're aiming for. And in many cases, by having that, we're actually contributing to problems on the earth. And what I mean by that is, it requires a lot of water, it requires a lot of maintenance and upkeep. You're constantly mowing or cutting it and keeping it trim. There's you know pollutants coming from the, the, the lawnmower, you know, it's gas or petrol powered. And you know, it just, it, 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 it looks nice, but that's literally all it does. It doesn't provide really a food source for the natural world. There's, there's nothing that relies on it. It just looks nice. And that's all well and good. But if you have a look around me, right? So at the moment, I live in Florida. And one of the things with Florida is Florida is largely built on sand. Now, if anyone knows much about the natural world, you'll know it's very hard to grow nice grass on sand. And you see a lot of these uh, blank spots, like especially in high use areas, the grass just up earths too easily. And so like around the fire pit here, you get these bare spots, you know, where the dogs like to run and play, it turns it up and then it dies. So you get bare spots all the time. Now, there are grass seeds that you can, well, for, I mean, first of all, you can go and buy uh, a shipload, like a truckload of different places call it different things like sod or turf you can have it brought in roll it out put it in and hopefully it takes right and then you get nice grass but then you have the same problem you've got to water it you've got the upkeep of it and it's you know it's a pollutant it doesn't feed anything there's not much it, it doesn't really work for the for, for nature for the environment it's not part of a permacultural design having grass like let's put it like that permaculture being the relationships between all things so one of the things that I would like to share that I have started personally doing and I'm noticing a fantastic result because the other way that you can go is you can go and buy seed and when you buy grass seed you've got to find the right seed for your climate you know like Sir Walter Buffalo is, is really popular in Australia because it's a high resistant uh, drought resistant grass here, Bermuda grass in Florida is great because it's good with higher rainfall in summer and it likes the heat and humidity. It grows really well. If you get something like Pennington or, you know, it's hit and miss. And then, you know, the seed, it just still turns into grass at the end of the day. So you're spending top dollar on seed that just turns into grass and grass doesn't have much of a place in a permacultural design. So one of the things that I like to do is buying a big bag of bird seed, wild bird seed. Now wild bird seed's got a whole different mix of stuff in there and when you get handfuls of that and you walk around sprinkling it or you put it in one of those things that, ch -ch 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 that sprinkles the, the, the seed on the, on, the, on the ground, on the grass, what happens is a couple of things. One, you get a lot more birds in the yard. Creates more of an ecosystem in your, in your environment, right? You get all kinds of colorful birds coming in. I have resident woodpeckers I've got um, cardinals, I've got blue jays, I've got mocking jays, I've got all kinds of birds coming into the yard now. Little blackbirds, just it's beautiful. And I sit there having my morning coffee, watching them, and there's you know just there's literally dozens of birds here picking away at the seed. Right, the seed's not placed to deliberately feed them, but they do take advantage of it. I also have squirrels coming down. The squirrels like to come down and they eat the larger seeds and if there's any nuts in the mix. Now, more, more powerfully, what it does to my grass, and this is filled in a lot, if I'd have shown you this six months ago, you'd be absolutely mind blown at how different it looks here now. The other thing it does is it grows a biodiverse lawn. So, and what I mean by biodiverse is I don't just have grass, right? I've got all kinds of really cool things coming up. In some parts of the yards, like up around my totem, I've got, uh, I've actually got corn growing and I've got sunflowers about to grow. That's from the bird seed because sunflower seeds are a part of bird seed. The seeds that grow corn is a part of bird seed. So I've got corn coming up in random spots. I've got sunflowers coming up in random spots. I've got a lot of pink purslane coming up in spots. I've got a lot of different clover. I've got uh, 
pennywort. I've got all kinds of things coming up on the grass. It's creating this beautiful green blanket and it's super diverse. There's plenty of things that like to eat the different things that are growing on the grass now. So it's now creating more of a relationship with the ecosystem. It's, it's basically cultivating a healthier ecosystem around here in my backyard. And it looks really cool. Like when you can see things like this and this, you know, it's filling in the gaps, but it's doing it with, um, you know, like these, this, these little, these beautiful little purple flowers. That's what they call kiss me quick or pink purslane, right? So that's coming up. I've got the flowers coming up from the Bidens or the Blackjack. I've got so many different things popping up in this blanket of green that's starting to grow. So I get the same kind of look as having grass and I get that, you know, that nice blanket of green that we're all aiming for, but I've done it in a really biodiverse way. And I mean, even this, you can see there's, there's so many different species of things growing here now. Um, little yellow flowers and it just, so much cooler than just grass. So go and get yourself a bag of bird seed and sprinkle it all over your grass and see what comes up.